Governor Janet Mills is celebrating a big step in the future of offshore wind in Maine. The federal government gave the green light to the state's request for a research lease for a floating offshore wind array in the Gulf of Maine. The state applied to the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management to lease a 15 square mile site to develop the nation's first floating offshore wind research site in federal waters. Now that array would contain a maximum of 12 turbines using platforms designed by UMaine. Governor Mills called the offer a major milestone in our effort to embrace the significant economic and environmental efforts. Meantime, tonight, local fishermen and advocates voice their concerns about offshore wind to the federal government. The Bureau of Ocean Energy Management held its first in a series of public meetings in Portland to talk about the proposed sale of the first offshore wind project in the Gulf of Maine. The Biden administration announced a proposed energy auction in the Gulf last month that would include eight lease areas off of Maine, Massachusetts and New Hampshire, totaling nearly one million acres. Those with the New England Fishermen Stewardship Association say it will have hard harmful effects on the commercial fishing industry, but the administration expects it to generate enough clean energy to power more than 5 million homes. Important for uh, to support jobs at ears to build uh, an offshore wind supply chain that's going to um, that's going to lead to the creation of jobs not only in um, in the Gulf of Maine states and New England, but also also nationwide. We're advancing ahead of the science and the no and talk to a lot of fishermen, specifically work on the offshore fleet, especially in the trawling division, nobody's talked to them. I find that, well, it's wrong. Tonight's event was the first of several planned virtually and in person across New England over the next